Hi guys and welcome in Miliodas Gaming in a new video. Today we are going to speak about the first 5 things you need to do in every Conflict of Nation map. Today we entered an apocalypse game with 64 countries and we chose Iran. The first thing you need to focus about is the choice of the nation. Of course it is so important to choose a very good nation in the game and with a, with a good position. The reason of my choice of Iran today is that it's a large country with 7 cities. Also it was available because uh, I entered the, the map a little bit late so uh, Iran was the best choice to have it. But the bad thing that it is surrounded with a lot of enemies. Let's have a look. We have Iraq on our borders, Turkey, Afghanistan, Pakistan and also Kazakhstan and Saudi Arabia. This place is so hot, it's so dangerous, so we need to be careful and count our steps carefully. So, the first thing you need to do is to build army bases in every city. Also, the recruiting offices. The recruiting offices are so important because they generate manpower and they reduce the mobilization time of your trips in every city. I already did that in my cities army bases and recruiting offices in all of the cities so it is done the second thing we need to do do the research of motorized infantry I did the level 1 and also we need to do the level 2 motorized infantry are very good later when you upgrade them to level 6 you will have a range an attack range of 20 you can attack other um, tanks or other uh, troops without having um, damage understand from a distance the third thing we need to do is to choose the second article with the motorized infantry. This is where um, you choose your strategy of play. This is where you have an advantage over your enemies. This is where you choose the path of your game. Because some players choose to make navy, some other players choose to make air force, some other players choose to make armored vehicles. You understand? Everyone has his own vision and has his um, own style of play. Of course, we have only one coastal water, uh, one coastal city, Bandar Abbas, on the Arabian Sea. The other one, Ras, is on the Caucasian Sea, so we will not need it. So we have only one. Practically we will not have the naval superiority yet so ships are not very important for me right now but land troops are very important because i have a lot of land borders with a lot of nations um some people choose helicopter gunships they are very good early at the game seven uh, damage against infantry so it will help a lot but they are so vulnerable against aircrafts so if anyone makes two or three uh, air superiority fighters he will destroy you another choice which is efficient and good the strike fighters but the only uh, inconvenience here that it needs air base level 2 and arms industry so it will take a little bit of time to make it so we will lose the advantage of time but i have another key article that it can be made so quickly and it is so efficient and i love it it's the mobile antia the underrated article it can be done so quickly in 30 minutes of research i did the level one research uh, they are so strong against aircrafts against helicopters um, they will give us the aerial defense so whenever your enemies have helicopters or uh, strikers you will destroy them literally destroy them so we make mobile antias and now the fourth thing that we need to focus about is our resources the first arms industry are very important to make because we will not build arms industry in all of the cities because we need the resources you understand at the end of, at the start of the game so we will see our strength points and our weakness points so we have a good protection of supplies a good protection of fuel 
bad production of electronics and bad electron a uh, bad production of components so the first thing we are going to do arms industry in component cities and arms industry in electronic cities also rare we need the rare for the research and we will do it in the supplies because we need arms industry to make the mobile on tier later okay these are the first five, uh, four steps now we come to the most important step is the fifth one very important is it to choose your allies friends and work on your diplomacy a little bit because as you can see our position is very dangerous we have enemies all around us six countries are around us and everyone wants to take a piece of Iran so we need to choose our friends very carefully you can we can do our own coalition we can select a flag with uh, 162 pixels and do uh, do our own coalition and send some invitations or sometimes some people will invite us uh, in this game Saudi Arabia invite, uh, invited me he has a good position I can rely on him and I can be with him but we need to choose active players this is the most um, the biggest problem in conflict of nations sometimes you choose allies but later they appear to be inactive that's very bad so you need to make sure that they will be active and they will finish the game until the last breath okay um, the first thing I'm going to do so let's see here that Afghanistan already built army bases so he is active now but Iraq uh, sorry for the word but he, but he is a newbie I don't need to see his rank but I can know that he's a newbie because he started making arms industries it's absurd because he needs to make arms industries and make motorized infantry as soon as possible now he will lose time and he can't build anything in his cities so I'm not afraid of Iraq he will do nothing but I should be afraid of Afghanistan and take him out so let's gather our troops now it's time to move and go all on heavy okay um, this one I'm not going to move it I'm going to keep it here of course for percussion if he is going to move, the first, th the first city he is going to take is Ahfaz and also Tabriz because they are on his borders so I will keep them here for protection and send the rest. Now let's make our first infantry in the game. Okay, let's um, take the cities here. Yes, all of our cities. Go, 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 go. Yes, like this. And let's build our motorized infantry in all of the cities. It's a quick trick to make them all at once, so try to follow me to make it happen. So, motorized infantry in all of our cities and arms industry are under process. We chose the first enemy we are going to attack and we chose to keep some units to um, defend our borders. This is uh, the first thing and primordial things that you need to know in every conflict of nation map it's so important now we will wait to make some allies i applied to the coalition of saudi arabia he will accept me soon and also we need to make um turkey as our ally because uh, i need to i need another protection on my back we don't need iraq because of course saudi arabia will attack iraq as soon as possible because he is surrounded by um, computer players so they pose no threat the first thing you will do is to attack Iraq it doesn't pose a threat to me but um, Turkey can think to attack me let's have a look here about the coalitions already Ukraine and Russia in a coalition um, Syria still alone um, I don't want to Syria to team up with Turkey because that is the problem and they will team up to take us down so the first thing we need to do is to add turkey with us i hope you like this tutorial 
and it helped you to know a few things in the starting of every game. Don't forget to subscribe to our, to, to our channel for more tutorials and more Conflict of Nations videos.